Hey everyone, it's Lee at My Productive Mac and a quick video to show you how you can add custom online searches to Alfred. Now, why would you want these? Well, let's paint a quick picture. As most of you know, I create videos for screencasts online and I'm always on the lookout for new subject matter or apps that have been updated. Now, one of the first pieces of information that I need when I find an app to cover is, have we covered it before? And if so, how long ago? And does it need to have a refresher video? So for this, I have to navigate to the Screencast Online site and do a search, when all I want to do is just run this search from Alfred. So this is how I do that. I'm here in the web search section within features and we can see that we've got lots of default search locations here already from Google to Amazon, IMDB, Flickr, Pinterest, there's loads here, but no Screencast Online. Now to add this, I'll click on add custom search and I've got a couple of options available to me for entering in this search URL field. So what this is, is this is the exact URL that Alfred is gonna to navigate to. So it's gotta be spot on and correct. Now I could type in the domain name, in this case, Screencast Online, then click look up and Alfred will search and try and pull that URL information automatically, which it's done here. And if I click use, then it's populated the search URL field already. Now, if the site you are searching for doesn't populate that information for you automatically, then you're going to need to manually do that yourself. And to do that, you simply just need to go to the site, carry out a search. So I'll just search for Alfred here. Now I'll come up to the address bar, press Command C to copy, switch back across to Alfred and paste it into the URL field here with Command V. Now I just need to swap this Alfred app word here for the word query and put it in between two curly brackets. And the instructions for doing that are just below here. Okay, next we need to give it a title. So this one here was put in automatically via the lookup feature, but I'll rename this to, to something that I like here. And then we need to select a keyword. So this is the abbreviation you're gonna type to kick off the search. So I'll do SEO. Now at the bottom in this validation section, you can test that the search is actually going to work. So the text in the validation field here will be searched for. So I'll click test and there is the search. It searched for Alfred app, but it couldn't find any videos with that in the name. Okay, let's close that and click save. And the custom search is right at the top of the list here. You can disable it with this checkbox on the right. And you can also edit it as well by either double clicking here Let's cancel that. Or by clicking edit custom search at the bottom here. Okay, let's use Alfred now to run that. I'll invoke Alfred. I'll type SEO, then Alfred to search for Alfred videos. And there we are, the search is done. Lots of videos here. So that's custom searches in Alfred. It's a really good feature. And if you like these mini tip videos, then please subscribe and I'll get them to you as and when time allows. Take care.